Where are we going, Neetu? We are heading towards Wolong. Wolong. Okay. We will stop at Salangam for tea and Okay. It's the first stop. Okay. Cool. Easternmost point. Easternmost district at least. Uh, we finally reached Walong at 10 p.m. Pretty late, I'd say. Uh, it's a very starry sky. It's not very clear, but my camera can't capture it, obviously. First time a drone being used. I mean, a helipad being used to launch a drone. <laughs> No, no. Chinese guys must, must be tapping us. <laughs> but that's not, I mean, not practical, not practical. Yeah, China knows, knows this. I mean, they are, they are, they know us, they are viewing us from the satellite. Ah, Ram 24 hours I monitored. I am flying a Chinese drone. Oh, okay. Oh, happy. Yeah. Happy. yeah. Happy. yeah. Happy. yeah. It's currently flying in 14 satellites. <laughs> so they are having live feed of what I am doing. Yeah. yeah. Chinese, the Indians, they expected the Chinese to come, come this from way, the valley. from the valley, which is like straight. Yeah, yeah. But they came from and very obvious route also. <laughs> yeah, so they came from that edge. Oh, that shit. edge. Huh, yeah. So there is a valley again. Yeah, yeah. Another valley there. Yeah. yeah. But then that's like too harsh, too steep. Okay. So they never thought a Chinese infantry can move there mm -hmm -hmm. because totally unreachable. And this was in uh, 62. 62. Yeah. yeah. Somewhere in April, I guess. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> So oh, as you can see, it's Hello. written there. Welcome That's to the, the easternmost, easternmost road easternmost, of India. It should show. Oh, <laughs> Neetu, you're blocking. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Easternmost bridge of India. Easternmost bridge of India. Wow. Wow. Nice. <laughs> Oh my god guys, this is the last village of India before China and that mountain that's Chinese Himalayas over there, that one and uh, I never thought I'd get to see uh, China again in the same year and that too from the Indian side so it's really cool. Just look at that, oh my god and this is Kaho village, the last Indian village. So China still claims this land to be theirs. If you look at their maps, they still think uh, Kaho is part of their... Kaho, in fact, like villages further inwards, even they think that uh, those villages are also part of China. So that road is from the line of actual control, which is like a no man's land between India and China. If you go there, irrespective of your nationality, you will get shot. And that road leads up to uh, China over there. Can you see a white color house? That's the Chinese army outpost there. And here you can see like the Chinese network works here. Wait, let me zoom in. Yeah, right near the border. I'm with uh, Lakim So. He's the most popular guy from uh, this region. He has houses everywhere. And we are using, we borrowed his vehicle by the way. And here uh, a couple of Mayo people, Mayor. They're celebrating Losar, which is the Tibetan New Year. So everyone's drinking rice beer, as you can see. A lot of rice beer. Very similar to the one in Dibang Valley. And they're all enjoying food. 
ट्रेडिशनल मिश्मी कोट एंड मिश्मी टर्बिन राइस बियर यू कैन सी एवरी वन एंजॉइंग या या राइस बियर राइट या इट्स अ गुड कॉम्बिनेशन Everyone's drunk on rice beer, basically. उन्नीस सौ बासठ की लड़ाई का है इसमें क्या हुआ था लगभग इसमें लिखा हुआ पेपर इक्कीस अगस्त उन्नीस सौ नाइन सिक्सटी में आया था ग्यारह पैंतालीस में चुप्स आया था उन्होंने अटैक किया था उसके बाद अपनी कैजुअलिटी तो यही दिख रही वही है लेकिन हमारे उनका समथिंग चार हजार कैजुअलिटीज हुआ था चाइनीज का जिसमें एक वीर चक्र महावीर चक्र थे दो फोटो लगी हुई है ये एक केवल सिंह की और दूसरी है राइफल मैन पूरन बहादुर था ओके केवल सिंह और दूसरी किसकी ये पूरन बहादुर था so we went into the museum where uh, actually photography is not allowed and we got to see like the shells used the weapons used the equipment the pen the bottle everything that was used during the war and we got to see uh, read some of the stories of the martyrs which is really gory in one end and also like unbelievable i can't believe our soldiers actually did this it's Wow, no words. Best part is this really awesome natural hot spring. It's night and you can see that I'm not shivering, so it's really hot. Let me show you all. Oh my god. So cool. You can see the steam also. Wow. Oh wow. That's my favorite spot there because that's where the water comes first. <laughs> And you can nicely stargaze from here. Wow. Today is December 31st, 2019, last day of the year, last day of the Discover Far East experience. And yesterday I got half cooked in the Sulphur Springs there down there. So the Discover Far East uh, team actually decorated this bridge with these neon ribbons sort of thing and you can really uh, you can see a beautiful beach here river beach and this is Dong village very limited number of houses a lot of meadows here like you know plateaus level 1 level 2 level 3 there i think level 4 somewhere there you can see the sunrise from there We're gonna go there midnight today to see the first sunrise of the year. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Happy New Year! Woo! <laughs> 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 Everyone finally managed to get out of the hot spring. And it's kind of it's two what two twenty now, two twenty a.m. twenty twenty. Dan, 
Jan first. Which one? It's first Jan fucking Yeah, what? What happy new year. Yeah. Happy new year. And happy new year. And uh, we're going to do the sunrise trek now Hello. to catch the first. Oh, it's really blurry. To catch the first sunrise of the new year. First sunrise of India in 2020. So that's going to be something. We've reached. And we've reached plateau number three. I think we have to go to number four to get a good sunrise. I don't, I don't know. We have come to this point here. Where the first sunrise of the year is gonna happen. Thank you.